Hey everybody, I just wanted to make a quick video and address some of the information that's been floating around today. It was a very frustrating day with AMC's talk, of course, the last couple of days. It's been going down and um, we're just in a consolidation period. Nothing to be alarmed about. Overall, we're up big. I'm still super bullish. It's going to be a great move when the price goes up. But <laughs> the shareholder count came out today and I'll say I didn't really like how AMC, Adam Aaron, put it out, it was kind of confusing because we weren't quite sure where the numbers were uh, coming from. He didn't give a number for institutional investors. He just threw out the 80% retail and um, the 4.1 million. And so people extrapolated from there and came up with some different numbers, including this, what you see on the screen, total shares owned by retail. Um, and that's based on 80% of of the number that he said uh, was uh, 4.1 million shares and an average share count of 120. So he didn't say if that 120 was just retail, if it was retail and institutional, he didn't really clarify. But if you do divide 502 million by 120, the, the numbers add up 80, 80 and 20%. Um, so we'll take a look at that a little bit down the road, but I want to uh, address a couple of things. I've seen it all over Twitter, I've seen it on Reddit, even Matt Kaur has put it on tonight, and he's usually so cautious and so good with his numbers and doesn't jump to conclusions, but take a look at this. A couple of things, insider shares, 165 million, that just is not true. That number is based on when Wanda owned shares, when Mudrick owned shares, when they own the majority of the company, and that's taken from old data. I'll show you uh, in a second where that comes from. Short interest as well, when they're talking about short shares, the shorts, the legitimate shorts, they come from our shares. Retail, from an institutional that lend them out. Brokers just lend our shares out. Like that's how they're shorted. So that's not an additional 100 million shares. That's included in our numbers. So those two numbers right there really inflate the total. Okay. We also don't know if Adam Aaron was including institutional in that 120 share average. It makes sense if he did, because that adds up to the 502 million. Um, but he wasn't clear on that. So we're, we're, we're jumping to the conclusion we want. And I want it to, I want that scenario. I want there to be 10 billion shares um, because the squeeze would just destroy planet earth, right? And we'd all be rich. But I also want to err on the side of caution and be conservative and be safe and make sure we're not out there spreading a whole bunch of false information that the media can latch onto and poke holes in and then discredit everything we're doing based on us putting on information that's not accurate. So if we take a look at a few of the, the next few tabs here, this talks about institutional ownership overall. And if you look up here, it's uh, about 30% according to CNN Business, but take it for what it's worth. Um, if we look over for insider shares, okay, these are the insider shares. Notice how these numbers included Wanda, 44 million, right? Um, and then Mudrick and some others were in there earlier, but we know Wanda sold most of those shares. They only have 10,000 now. So if you add up that 10,000 with what's in here is about 2.6 million or about half a percent, definitely not the 110 million shares that have been floating around. Then, if this screen would load, uh, we have our institutional investors. So on this page, it says 22.96%. This is NASDAQ, pretty recent. And, and so we're looking, they even have the up, updated share count, 502 um, million shares. So that's very believable, right? 23%. Now, if we're at 80%, we can assume that maybe this slipped um, a few percent or maybe they're over by five, 10 percent because synthetic shares failure to deliver is just that overlap. Um, that's reasonable and that's expected. So um, that's not shocking to think we would have 105, 110 percent of our shares really not ideal, but not shocking either. Um, finally, if we go over here, not finally, but computers a little bit. So when we look over at Fintel, it's just what I assume people are getting these numbers, the 175 million shares. This is old data. If you scroll down, you look in here at the insider roster, look who we see, Mudrick. They sold their shares. 
Wanda, 151 million of those shares. They sold those so long ago, even before March. So um, these numbers are not up to date. And so we know all those shares now are in retail's hands, which is great, but we have to be accurate in what we're saying. So if we go back and we look at that post uh, in Twitter, look at that insiders, 165 million. So you know it's based on that old data. Uh, if we look, I did this quick math. So take it for what it's worth. I didn't put hours and hours into it, but I put a little bit of time into it just to give a few scenarios. Scenario one, AMC included institutional investors in that 120 shares per holder average. Insider shares, uh, I just left constant at 0.05%. Uh, um, the 2.6 million that we saw there, it's probably less now actually because a lot of insiders have been selling lately. Um, institutional investors um, took the remaining percentage after the 80 and the 0.5 and just gave it to them and said it's around there. That would add up to our accurate share count, 100%, nothing more, nothing less. Excuse me. Um, the next one. We look at this and we say, okay, what if he didn't count uh, institutional investors in that 120 per shareholder? Okay, so here's how it would look. That means we've got 492 million shares, 80%. We just multiply 4.1 by 120, we get 492, right? Um, and so then we look at in the if the share count for insider stays the same, that means uh, institutional had 19.5% still, but that percentage is bigger because it means the overall number is 605 million and not uh, 502. So where did the rest of them come from? Synthetics, failure to deliver, the things we've been talking about all along. It gives us a pretty substantial number, 121%. Uh, unfortunately, institutional investors would have the potential, I'm not saying they would, to sell all of those shares um, to give back the shares that were synthetic if they need to buy them back. So not the perfect scenario. Now, would they? Probably not because they need to keep them in their mutual funds and their ETFs and, and all of the things for their investors. They wouldn't be too happy if they sold all of their shares in a very valuable stock just to help out their buddies in the other prime brokerages. So that's one scenario and maybe the most likely scenario, to be honest. Um, and then the third one is really another likely scenario that the brokers that are providing AMC with those numbers just aren't giving them accurate numbers for whatever reason, whether it's collusion, incompetence, both, um, just the complication of the system. I would get, go on the side of maybe collusion. Um, these guys are complicit. They may be guilty of crimes. They're not going to hand over the evidence willingly if they can hide it. Um, and so in that case, the synthetic shares, who knows, half a billion, like double our share count, billions from all the volume we've been seeing. It's really, really hard to know. Um, in that case, our total approximate shares are there. Um, so really, I have some notes down here talking about where I got those numbers. I've explained it. I've showed you the websites. So I can include those links down below if you want. But that's my take. Like the numbers that are flying around there are wild. They're not based on current data. That's a mixture of things. And I think we just need to be careful. If we want to maintain our reputation as apes and, and as sharing these things as fact, we need to be so careful not to put out misinformation or we'll be the ones spreading FUD. And that's not what we want to do. So I just encourage everybody to be more careful, to take the time and do the math. I know we're really looking for that home run. We're looking to build things up again. And we will, but we need to do it the right way. And we need to use correct data and numbers. And I just wanted to throw that out there tonight because I was seeing it and it just bothered me that I want to make sure we're winning the right way with the correct information and going from there. So there it is, folks. And I did mention GME on the at the outset just on my... Uh, thumbnail. So I want to be clear, like the vote today for GME didn't go as hoped either. So uh, it didn't show a massive vote count, which is not unusual. People don't all vote no matter how much we encourage them to, they just don't. So it's still a pretty impressive vote count. But we have to realize like, again, the brokerages aren't necessarily providing GameStop with accurate numbers, right? So there are other ways of getting this. There are other ways of doing it. But the best one is buy, hold, right? Hold, diamond hand it. We need to make sure that we're just following the game plan. If we truly believe they've shorted this to death with synthetics, they're stuck. 
And as the price goes up and as we refuse to sell, the longer it goes, the more they bleed and they will get margin called. They will sh put shutters on their windows. They will go bankrupt. The hedge funds will collapse. And as they do, we'll be more and more reassured that we're right. But until then, sometimes the faith has to be a little more blind than we want. But that said, Trey did an awesome job on the news today. Um, the shareholder count has some potential out there. It's building interest for sure. We have some really prominent people speaking up for us, lots of exposure. So I think that will bring in more investors and the fundamentals are looking pretty good too. So I think lots of good things to build on. We're in a consolidation period. Let's hope that it goes up. I've got some options I really want to unload for a big profit uh, and they've been going down lately. So I'm definitely next week. I, I want that price to go up hopefully tomorrow, but you know, I'll settle for next week before the 18th. But all that said, apes, uh, hang tight. It's going to go our way. We just have to hold. Do what we were doing from the beginning. Believe in what we're saying. Know that there's bad, shady stuff going on out there and just hold. I have a good night, apes. Oh, if you have any comments, leave it down below. Uh, share the video. Get it out there and stay safe.